Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm trying to uh, make a different entrance here. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, the Embury is burning brightly. Well, I have it dimmed a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's so you can see it better on the video. Uh, this little air pilot is quite a fun little guy here. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. You know, it's funny, when I was a child, you know, I have days still, <laughs> I kind of am, but... Um, you know, I, I saw these once in a while in antique malls, and I, I never thought they were that attractive. At that age, I didn't understand the Streamline era and uh, the design aspects of Streamline. Uh, and I also liked the, uh, you know, the more rustic stuff, the 19th century lanterns, uh, you know, square air tubes and all the hilos and all those things. Um, so, you know, that, that, that was me at that point. I still do. Those are still my favorite. But I have made room in the collection to appreciate the more unusual and unique. Uh, and this piece is definitely that. It's, you know, original paint. It's a jade green uh, metallic. Uh, very, very indicative of the 1920s through the 1950s. Uh, a lot of uh, things were painted that color, anywhere from a boiler room to a bathroom. Uh, you know, grandma's uh, cupboards were full of jadeite dishware, you know. So, you know, it was a very popular color at that time, very institutional um, as well. So a lot of public spaces were painted that color. Uh, I guess it was a calming effect maybe they felt, but I like it. It's a favorite of mine. Uh, so this hot... There I go again. I say hot because it is hot. It's, you know, we know it's a cold blast, but this thing really does put out a lot of warmth. Um, and uh, the flame, you know, if I have it a little higher, it wants to jump. It'll, it's been doing some funny things. I've been keeping an eye on it uh, over the weekend, and it's, I don't know, maybe there's something in the air tubes, like an old spider or something. I don't know. It's just easily they could climb through there. It's not, you know, out of the realm of possibilities. Uh, but, yeah, um, anyways, it seems to be acting fine now. I got a little bit of a slight dampness around the seam of the fountain there. I think it's got a little bit of a leak. It's not chronic. It's not dripping or anything. It's just a little damp. Um, so over the course of several days, it'll leave a little bit of a mark, a little bit of a ring on the, the workbench, but nothing crazy. This is going to be a garage lantern, not coming into the house. Might hang on the porch a little bit once in a while, but it's definitely going to stay out here. Um, I put some K1 kerosene in it, so it's not burning clean lamp oil. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely going to be a workhorse. Uh, yeah, it's a cool piece. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly who designed it. Maybe it was uh, Raymond Lowy or maybe Henry Dreyfus. I'm not sure. Uh, they did a lot of uh, streamlined design for a lot of appliances and uh, apparently probably lanterns too. Funny how lanterns got streamlined design um, in the 40s, in the late 30s, early 40s through the 50s. Uh, everything was getting streamlined. You know, whether it was a toothbrush to, you know, tobacco pipe or cars, airplanes, everything had its turn on the Streamline uh, designer's bench uh, in that time. So that's fun, though. It was elegant. It was a nice, you know, style. But lanterns, for some reason, they got a little bloated looking when they got Streamlined. The simplicity just, you know, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, Dietz lanterns were not quite as round like this Embury, but it's still a great design very well made this is a high quality lantern and i'm not even going to lie it's impressed me and mr bob the lantern guy shout out to thousand oaks um he his videos really helped me learn something about the emberies and the quality is obvious it's great stuff i know he'll agree um anyways had a fun weekend we took the uh car out hit some thrift stores and um Head up uh, Musso and Frank's Grill in Hollywood, celebrating our sixth wedding anniversary. And that was great. So we had a wonderful weekend. And so I'm finishing the weekend with my day off on this Monday and with the video with the Embury. So good times. All right, everybody. Stay classy out there and enjoy uh, this wonderful weather and your the coming work week. Take care and God bless.